Hey, what's up guys? Sir Ramadan here. Uh, I've been swamped with work and I kind of shut myself off from everything Yu-Gi-Oh! related pretty recently because I've just been waiting for the ban list to come. But apparently I've heard that there is a new ban list, so I guess that's what I'm going to be checking out. I have no idea what's on it. I literally do not have any idea. Um, this is the most blind ban list reaction you'll ever see, and I promise I will not make it too long to bore people because I'm sure everyone already knows what it is because I'm fairly certain I'm late to this party. Um, I'll just search your ban list here. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. Effective from April 29, 2019. So that's in six days. All right. Let's see what's new. Uh, they said it was going to be a light hit, as far as I remember. Uh, the next update will be no sooner than July 1st. So this is going to be the list for the um, for the NAWCQ, which is pretty exciting, because uh, be, I will be going to that. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to be able to figure out what deck I'll be playing, and that should be pretty exciting. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and see. Nothing here so far. Nothing, 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 nothing. Uh, Link Monster, Summon Sorceress, nice, awesome. I am kind of surprised that they hit Summon Sork, I'm not gonna lie, uh, because it wasn't hugely problematic, um, like within the context of the the format like prior to the list, but obviously this is a problematic card in general. Um, I don't need to tell any of you guys why this card should have been banned uh, quite a long time ago, honestly, but yeah, Summon Sorceress being banned, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, Dark Matter Dragon, cool, cool. This card is really stupid. Uh, it sends dragons for cost, um, and it's not once per turn. So yeah, I approve of this one. Uh, that is kind of a hit to Thunder Dragon. Granted, it's not integral to their strategies, so uh, Thunder Dragon so far is very much alive. Um, they just have to find different combos. Um, like these are the cards that make their like combos really stupid, but they still have access to like all the consistency tools. Um, they did not have Phantom Sky Blaster, which I'm a little bit sad about, but I mean they they said again that the list was gonna be pretty pretty light in terms of hits, so uh Dark Matter is gone. What else? Uh, spell card. Phantom Knights Bank of Magic launch. Thank you for thank you for hitting this one. This is the absolute correct hit. Um, yes, awesome, perfect. I am very happy about that. So, yep. Um, this makes degenerate as a thought combos. Uh, or the degenerate like Utopia Kaiser combos. Um, Kelly Yuga, things like uh, Truking of All Calamities with like the new Dean Gersu stuff. Uh, yeah, none of that's happening, so thank you, Konami, for addressing the correct card. Um, good stuff. This is a fantastic list, considering how they said it wasn't going to be like super heavy, so I'm super happy about this one. I'm sorry if I sound tired. I did take a nap, too. Um, yeah, I've just been swamped with work, man. Uh, that's all I gotta say. Uh... Speaking of which, that's kind of why I've been not really uploading videos. I will be soon, as soon as like school stops. Uh, granted, I will be traveling a lot, but yeah, there. Uh, this format is gonna get me back into the game again. I've been kind of getting bored of this format. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so that's it for the banned cards. Very good hits. Uh, let's see what we got for limited cards. Um, I don't expect there'll be a lot here. Uh, new. Lady Debug? Huh. What a weird hit. Um, I did not expect them to touch Salomon Great at all. At all. Uh, this is a very indirect hit, but I don't think this will do anything because we literally get Signet Mining. So <laughs> basically, Signet Mining is better because it can trigger Gazelle without requiring your normal summon. Um, it's better in certain instances, so. Yeah, this is a very questionable hit. I'm not a big fan of this one, actually. Um, I don't think it'll curb Salomon Great's consistency enough to actually affect it. 
Like granted, if they had three debug three mining, that'd be kind of insane, but I don't know if they would max out on everything. Uh, debug requires a normal summon, and if it gets interrupted, that kind of just like hurts a lot. Like if it gets ogred or veilered. Um, whereas like if sign up mining got ashed, if they had a way to extend beyond that, then whatever, right? So I don't know. I don't know about this hit. It's very, it's interesting. Uh, I did not expect Salmon Great hits. I will say that. I did not expect that. Uh, oh, they did hit Fam Skyblaster. Oh, that's shut me up. Um, it's at one now. Uh, that's good. That's good. It hits Thunder Dragon a little bit. I think very much that this deck is alive. This deck is very much still viable. Which makes me a little bit upset, <laughs> honestly. Uh, they just go back to the uh, Zombie Stein combo instead of uh, the Goliath combo. Actually, I do wonder if there is a way that they could um, end the combo like similar to the way that Pendulum is doing it now, where they do LP last and then summon Goliath from the deck uh, and then end on the Heratic Link. It's possible, probably. Nothing, nothing, nothing. New. Kagari to one. Ooh. Now, I've been saying uh, that multi roll should go to zero and that should be the hit. <laughs> Excuse me. But this is also an acceptable hit. It, um. Yeah. It, like, hurts a lot of the recursion, which is, like, a big deal. Granted, I don't think this is actually enough to kill the deck. And I don't think Thunder Dragon is going to be hit, hit enough either, so the meta might just be a weakened version of its former self with more decks being introduced. Uh, that is going to be my prediction. Uh, nothing else? I don't foresee anything else here. Yep, nothing else. So yeah, no Skystriker spell cards, it's just Kagari, and I actually don't think that's enough to kill the deck. <laughs> I really don't. It'll hurt. It'll hurt for sure. But I I don't think it'll be enough. I'm, I'm going to be totally honest. Striker will be very much alive. Semis. Super poly to two. Whoa. That makes this a, a much more viable side card. Uh, Super poly was already being played in the side deck a lot. Um... And this makes like Thunder Dragon and Salmon Great very interesting because this card's good against both those decks. So it'll be interesting to see. Um, it'll be interesting to see how the dynamic of the side deck changes as a result of this. So it's a for semis, unomits. Miscellaneous Saurus. Interesting. Um, I don't know if they'll do anything. Excuse like my weird inflections in my voice. I'm very sorry about that. I don't know if that's still do anything, but uh, very, very interesting. Um, yeah, dinos are fine. Like, they're just fine. <laughs> I don't know if this will give them enough of a boost. Granted, uh, Eagle Booster from hand is a, is a very strong, very strong ability for a card to have for the entire deck, so. Um, I don't know if there will be a lot of, like, good combos. Actually, you know what? With this thing, um, it makes the Ib World Chalice Synchro a lot better because um, commonly you would use Soul Eating Over Raptor to like dump this and then summon Aolo. But um, if you open one of this with Over Raptor, like Fossil Dig with like this or whatever, um, you can like dump the Quatless and then pitch this and then summon Aolo that way. And then if you have another extender, you could just like do the combo from there. Um, with like, also it's another fire for uh, the fire true king, Agnimizud. So this could be a pretty big boost actually to a uh, true king dinosaur with the world chalice uh, synchro. Um, so that's actually something to think about. Overall, what do I think about this list? It's actually more than I expected in some ways. Um, I did not expect debug to be hit. That's very weird to me. Um, if not for sign up mining, I would have liked this hit. Uh, but because sign up mining exists, I think this hit does nothing. 
Um, Sky Blaster is a good hit. Um, Sky Blaster, Sorceress, and Dark Matter are good hits to Thunder, but the deck is very much still functional. Um, I think that there is kind of a lack of a strong, strong normal summon. Like, Battery Man is a decent summon, but like, I don't know. I think going from 6 to 4 normal summons is is a bit of a big deal. Especially when like the stronger normal summon got hit here, obviously. Um, but granted, you have all your danger cards alive, you have all of the um, thunder cards themselves are still alive. You have all the guard dragons still up. Um, this was a very good hit. Um, super good. Uh, changes the Luna Light deck, obviously. <laughs> um, but I already had, I already expected this card to get hit. There is no way this card was going to be staying alive, and I'm glad it is hit because um, this card is stupid and should not have been abused to the extent that it was. Um, yeah, interesting hits. I think Striker is still alive. Uh, I think Thunder is still alive. Style Migrate is very much still alive. Um, so this list didn't really change much, if I'm going to be honest. All it does is kind of like pave the way potentially for new decks, um, like Orcus variants because of the new support in uh, Dane, Dark Nearstorm, as well as maybe some other rogue contenders uh, could pop up. But I think Thunder might be the best deck, maybe? Uh, Thunder and Salomon great. Uh, Striker got hit a decent amount with this, but I don't think it'll knock them off at all, to be honest. Uh, that's kind of just how it goes. But yeah, uh, I kind of started rambling on towards the end here. Uh, thank you guys for watching this. I know most of you already know what this list is, um, and my reaction here is nothing new or surprising, but um, yeah, these are just kind of my thoughts. Thanks for watching. Uh, and take care guys. See ya.